Hello friends, uh, I hope you have understood the concept of uh, double integration. Uh, now we will see some of the illustrations of this and uh, in the illustration part, um, we have divided this uh, problem uh, into uh, different types. Uh, so first of all, basically, um, uh, so let me start with an example. Mm. Uh, so let us take one example here, a small example. Uh, evaluate, evaluate <coughs> uh, double integration from x equal to 0 to x equal to 1. Okay. And uh, 0 to x. Then e to the power y upon x. dy dx on the x team. Okay. Uh, so this is an example given. Here what they have given is they have given you directly the limits. Hmm. Now see that uh, I told you that double integration is always over a region. Right. So whenever this kind of problem is given you should understand uh, in, uh, in back of your mind uh, there has to be a picture a rough picture of this region okay which is the region which is bounded by these limits so that is a very important thing okay we will try this so what i do is uh, i i don't look at this part right now i'm just concentrating on the limits of double integration and i'll try to find out what exactly the region is okay uh, so first of all observe that the inner integration okay is from 0 to x now whenever, uh, so this is a hint, whenever uh, x is involved in one of the limit or both of the limit of integration, okay, whenever x is involved in any kind of form, in one of the limit or both of the limit, okay, the inner integration is always with respect to y, right. So I will write this as y equal to 0 to y equal to x. See, what I have observed is, it is not given to me anything. I have observed that the inner integration is from 0 to x. x is involved in the inner integration in either of the limits, maybe both of the limits. Hmm? Then you write it as y equal to 0 to y equal to x. So then the integration is with respect to y. Of course, the remaining integration has to be with respect to x. So this is with respect to x. So we have understood this. Now, this gives me the a rough idea of a picture or picture of a region. So I say the region is here, here the region is bounded by uh, x equal to 0 to x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 to y equal to x. Okay, let us try to draw this. So, so let me draw this. Now see that uh, actually this is a three dimensional picture hmm? but the region is always in a xy plane so it's a two dimension so we will write draw this region over here so i'm just taking this as a two dimensional curve hmm? okay now what is the limits on y so y equal to 0 now y equal to 0 is the equation of x axis this is y equal to 0 this is y equal to 0 right to y equal to x. Now y equal to x is a line with positive slope passing through a region. This is y equal to x. Okay. And then from x equal to 0. So this is y axis. This is x equal to 0. Right. To x equal to 1. That is a line which is parallel to y axis and cutting the x axis at 1. So this is x equal to 1. So our region is bounded from 0 to 1 over this side. And from this to this line. So it is basically a triangle. So this is our region. Okay. So this is the region in xy plane. And over that region we are integrating this function. Okay. I hope you have understood now. Hmm? Okay. Fine. So we have understood the region. Now limits are directly given to me. Hmm? What I have observed is. 
the inner limit is involved with x somewhere. So I will integrate the inner integration with respect to y, okay, and then the outer integration with respect to x, okay. So what I'll do is I say i is equal to them integral uh, zero to one. I'll just split the things and I'll write this as in a bracket integral zero to x e to the power y by x dy dx. Okay, so just for um, sake of uh, convenience, I have split it. Uh, and basically, there is no need to write down this set kind of brackets. But for first example, we will do that. Okay, now see that here we are integrating this particular function with respect to y. Okay, so treating x as constant time. Okay, so what is the integration inside? Okay, so we will evaluate the inner integration first. So i is equal to for the integral 0 to 1. Okay. Now see that this is integral e to the power y upon x with respect to dy. Okay. So it will be e to the power y upon x. Right? Hmm? Now this 1 upon x is actually like a constant. So we will divide it by a constant. Okay. dy. Hmm? And this is running from the limits 0 to x uh, dy dx. See what I have done is I have treated x as, as, as a constant. So this is 1 upon x I have divided. So this is equal to 0 to 1 x e to the power y upon x um, running from 0 to x dx. Right? And now I am going to put the limits. So 0 to 1. Okay. Now see that this x, this limit goes in place of y because we have integrated with respect to y. So this is x e to the power x upon x is 1. So it is e simply uh, minus when you put 0, it will be 0. Uh, so it is 1. Right? Okay. So uh, this is equal to further 0 to 1 uh, e times x or uh, I take x into bracket uh, e minus 1 dx. Right? So this is further equal to now e minus 1 is a single constant. This is x square by 2 from 0 to 1. So it is e minus 1 into 1 by 2. And that is the value of the integration. Right? Okay. So, we have calculated this integration. Uh, that is e minus 1 by 2. Uh, so, just go through this once. The basic part here is to understand the meaning of these limits. Okay. So, whenever I just repeat, whenever the limits are involved, they involve some kind of x, the integration with respect to y. Okay. And vice versa. If y is involved in the integration limit, the integration is with respect to x. Okay. So, please uh, try to understand this and uh, then you can easily solve some of the examples. Fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you.